Hi, I'm Carl from Red Planet Travel and I'm going to show you a quick demo of the travel vein for tour operators and tourist boards perspective. So what we're what this new product here is that we've got the travel vein which is now in beta uh, is a travel inspiration engine uh, for for people who for, for giving ideas to people uh, to where to go to and if they do know to, to use travel research uh, to uh, research the destination in terms of uh, weather and uh, and their currency suitability but I'll go through that in a moment so on, on the main tab which is the inspiration tab the user enters where he's coming from so, so his hometown generally so for example I put in United London in the United Kingdom uh, and I'd like to go now and my currency is pounds sterling and I'm looking for somewhere hot so I click find and the search commences so we'll just give it a moment or two to load up now what it's suggesting here is these places would be suitable for me to to go to uh, so it's just got a couple of filters on initially uh, the user can customize um, just about anything that uh, that he's interested in so just with the basic standard filters um, mainly because of this um, the, G, the, the pound sterling can now buy 50% more Ukrainian currency um, this is this is coming up quite high and uh, similarly this other one here in Russia we've also got peso in Mexico as, uh, uh, the pound sterling has appreciated quite highly against these so, so this is why these ones are coming up now if I go to for example let's say he thinks mm, well I don't really fancy going to Ukraine that might be a little bit risky so we can turn the risk filter on and then lower this uh, and that will affect the results just let it load up again And now you can see that the uh, with a much lower risk factor it's coming up with suggestions such as New South Wales and Hamburg. So that's the general idea of how the travel vein is going to work. Uh, I'll just point you at a uh, at this button here, which will be the show list of tour operators, and I'll show you how you can appear on that um, on this button. Uh, so let's go into the other the other mode, which is the two mode. And let's say somebody was interested in going to this is this is where the, uh, the the person already has an interest in a particular region and wants to look at their statistics for that place so that we have a demo location here if I go to Arundel United Kingdom and then search so here we can see now the Obviously, the pound sterling doesn't change again. The pound sterling. So let's say he was a, a European coming through. So now I've selected the euro currency, and we'll see. Now the euro has actually declined against the pound to some degree, but um, you know that's good information for him to know. And let's say now I wanted to. So now we're dem now we're showing all the different regions ar around his search area. So you can see all these ones. So let's try this one here. If I go to show list of tour operators, this is where I'm proposing that the tour operators and tourist borders links would uh, would go. Um, so he's interested in going to this region, and then he can click the link there, or on the um, on the more information page, um, depending on on the link type that we put in place, this is our East Sussex page, for example. And here we can see the the link again to the tourist board 
if I click here to demonstrate what um, what we're hoping for on the on the partner side uh, so here he's got all his accommodation what's on dining attractions and where we can be useful is on the how to get there page on the, in this case on the maps and directions page so you've got quite extensive information here taking the train buses and coaches cycling and then the trip planner and this one uh, as you can see takes us back to Red planet uh, we're particularly useful for for uh, travelers coming from from further afield with the uh, with the multimodal search so um, that concludes our demonstration today and uh, look forward to hearing from you